dream matches. Dream matches. There are some dream matches that we may never get. That's why I'm here with this video. That's why I'm here with this video. I'm here to talk to you guys about the dream matches. But there could be some dream matches that we could possibly be getting. But there are also some dream matches that we may never see. So I am here to give you guys my top 10 dream matches. And I want to mention a few things here really quick. I have I, I have listed out five dream matches for one particular person that um, I really do wish to see again in WWE. Which I really do doubt that she will never be back. And that happens to be AJ Lee. Now... I've listed out a total of five dream matches that I've wanted to see with her, so... So yeah. You'll be, uh... You'll be hearing her name quite a lot on this, but... But hey! You can't... Really... You can't... You, you, you don't blame me, don't you? Because... We all know how good she is, and we, and we all know... What kind of, uh, potential she could give with the nowadays women. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll be with you guys in just a sec, and we'll start my top 10 dream matches. Now none of these dream matches are in particular order, but I'm just going to be listing them how I've listed them on here. <coughs> Excuse me, I thought my throat got stick there. Um... So yeah, I'm here to talk. So I'm going to talk about the dream matches that I have provided that I've been wanting, that I've wanted to see. Uh, with for for AJ Lee now. First one is first one for AJ Lee. I would love to see her take on Charlotte, which is quite of an obvious one if you think about it. I mean, like, just look at it as this way. I mean, like. Charlotte and AJ can definitely put on some great matches. Like, we all know... Like, for those who don't know how good AJ Lee really is... I'd say... You know, you'd be in for a treat. Some people might not have... Might, some, I'm not going to say everybody... What, what would be a fan... Would have been a fan of how she wrestled and... And, 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 and I'm fine with that. I, I, I'm fine with that. I've got no disrespect... To anybody who, if people didn't like AJ Lee or didn't like her wrestling, you know, but you gotta respect the uh, hard work that she has provided for the company, which is a, uh, which is a damn shame. Which, which is a damn shame that the company won't show, you know, proper respects to her. I mean, like, imagine Charlotte and AJ going at it. That would have a great feud, like. Like this match would def this match would definitely be like a WrestleMania, SummerSlam, esque match, especially for a title. Just imagine the great promos they could have, and if they and if they built up the storyline, and it, it, very good, if they built the story up to a very good point, and they actually let the girls go out there and wrestle to 15, 20 minutes, it'd be an awesome match. It'd be awesome. Next one for AJ Lee is Sasha Banks, and who who would not want to see that? For anyone who knows how good AJ Lee is, who would not want to see AJ versus Sasha Banks? The mic work that these two could put on would be incredible. AJ was incredible on the mic. She knew how to talk. She could cut a promo. She knew how to do it. She, AJ Lee, breathed professional wrestling. She breathed it. 
Imagine the classics that AJ and Sasha Banks could have. Be absolutely amazing. Now, before I continue on, I want to talk about Bailey for a sec. I did have, at first I did have Bailey on this list, but I've noticed I really, uh, but you know I do have a lot of AJ Lee dream matches, but I did have Bailey on the list for AJ, but I realized that they had one match. They did have a match, and that's why I removed it. They did have a match. It was on NXT. It was during that early production when NXT was starting to become what it is today. It was during that early production of NXT becoming what it is today so but some of some people might not see that as a real as, as a way to like some people might have seen that as a waste of a dream match but I will give it a fair but I will say it's still a dream match if they do it, it, it's still a dream match in my opinion because I think that because I think the way Bailey is now I think be pretty good Still, I still see it as a dream match, but I only took it off the list because they did have one match, but that was in the early productions of NXT. Next uh, for AJ Lee is Becky Lynch. I'd love to see her take on Becky Lynch. You know, it's just like just like with the other two. Who wouldn't want to see her take on Becky Lynch? Becky Lynch is a pretty good wrestler. And hell, I wouldn't mind if AJ Lee lost every single match against all these people I've set up in the dream match. Because, because you know, she could put them all over. She could do the Mickey James and lose to everybody, you know? But, but hey, um, yeah, Becky and AJ, definitely be a good one. I think it'd be a good one for the people to enjoy. And next would be AJ Lee versus Oscar. That's another dream one. Another dream match I would definitely would love to see. I think... I think AJ would probably do the John Cena and actually carry the feud. In a way where... You know, because Oscar isn't really that good at English. So you can definitely have AJ, you know, do all the mic work. And, and you know, then, then when they wrestle, they can both really wrestle now I know I've been pretty strict on Oscar and I've said that whenever I watch her wrestle I find her boring and I know it's because and now I know WWE restricts their wrestlers to how much they can do in the ring which really does suck and I know that and I, I, I just only wish I only wish I just only wish that we were able to see the true skill of Oscar. I just really wish there was just so much more from Oscar. I mean, like, she might know some things that... She might know some moves that I've never really... You know, I haven't really seen yet. And, and it's a shame... And, it, and it's a real... And it's a real shame... It's a real shame that we can't see the true potential of certain wrestlers. So yeah. But but yeah, I think these two have a good match. Especially if they didn't restrict their wrestlers. If they didn't restrict their wrestlers, I think everybody could have been a good... I think everybody would put on good matches. And the final one. This is the last one for AJ, guys. This is the last one. This is the last dream match I'd love to see from AJ Lee is that she takes on Ember Moon. Now, originally, I did not have Oscar in Ember Moon. I originally only had listed the four horsewomen. But then I realized I missed out a few, so I was like, you know what, I'll take a few off, then I'll add these two in, because I know some people would be very disappointed if I didn't say Oscar or Ember Moon. But, yeah, I think, yeah, again, it's the same old, it's the same thing that I've said many times before, AJ's really good on the mic, she can wrestle, she's very good at it, and, and, and I think these two can definitely put on a, a, a great match for the fans, 
And also, people like to talk about selling. I've heard people, you know, like to talk about how certain wrestlers sell certain moves. AJ Lee is very good at selling. She's a very good seller as well when she ta when she uh, takes um, wrestling moves. Can you imagine her selling the Eclipse? Imagine her selling the Eclipse. That would be awesome to see. And I think that would be the one thing that everybody would love to see if they were to fight. Now that we're done with AJ Lee, guys, I've gone through all the potential matches I wanted to see from AJ Lee. Now that that's all done, we can finally focus on somebody else. We can finally talk about other people. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll finally talk about somebody else here. And I know a lot of people have been talking about this man. They've been wanting and hoping that they would see this man back in the WWE. And this person I'm talking about is CM Punk. There are only two matches. Now, I think people would... And I'm, and I'm pretty sure there'd be more dream matches that people... That would love to see from Punk. But I've only chosen two. I've only picked two, I've only picked two people I would love to see CM Punk take on in, dream, in, in a dream match in WWE. If he ever returns to WWE. Which, again, I still find CM Punk as a... As a person, I, I d just don't see happening. Person number one I have chosen for CM Punk, which would be a dream match, obviously, is the phenomenal AJ Styles. Goodness, goodness gracious, the, the feud that Punk and AJ Styles would have, the, the matches that these two guys would have, would be absolutely, no pun intended, phenomenal. And it would just be amazing to see. It would just be amazing. It would just be something that the fans will just love. And yes, this match is definitely WrestleMania worthy. And how great and how awesome would it be is that if WWE actually had these two these two guys as the main event, the official main event, the last match, because that was CM Punk's goal in WWE to to main event WrestleMania. That was his longtime goal to main event WrestleMania. Imagine he he comes back to WWE and he's main eventing WrestleMania with AJ Styles. He would have finally lived his goal, and he would he would finally would have been able to live his goal, and that and I think that would be really really good for WWE, and of course, it'd be good for Punk because you know it's a dream match, you know, it's a dream match, and I think that is definitely one match the fans would love to see from CM Punk. And the last one, like I said, I've chosen two for CM Punk, is I would definitely would love to see him take on Shinsuke Nakamura, the Nutcracker Nakamura, the heel Nakamura. Imagine Punk versus the heel Nakamura. That would be absolutely, 
amazing. It would be absolutely amazing. And imagine people actually booing Nakamura. And that's the thing. I'm very disappointed that people just won't boo him. I understand why, because people love Nakamura, but, 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 but he'd be versing CM Punk. If, if, the, if he'd be versing CM Punk, why would you cheer for Nakamura if you if you adore CM Punk? That would be one. That would be one of the other things that I would probably have an issue with. But I'm just saying. I think a heel Nakamura and CM Punk would be a good one. It'd be a good. It would be a good rivalry. It'd be a good match to see. Yeah, I just think it'd be a good one to see. And I know everybody would be dying to see that one. Finally, guys, I've got one more women's. I've got one more women's dream match. And it's not AJ Lee, so don't worry, because like I said, I only had five picked out for her. This one... This one I do want to see. This one is what... This one I do want to see, and I think this one could... I can only hope and pray that this one could happen. This is one dream match on this list that I could potentially see happening. Actually, the last three dream matches on this list are the ones I could potentially see happening. This one is the Bella Twins versus the Iconics. Now, I know a lot of people aren't really big fans of the Bella Twins, but the Bella Twins are definitely big major stars in WWE, and, and you know, and they deserve a lot of respect. They deserve a lot of respect. They, they, they're good in the ring. They're decent. They know they, they can put on good matches. They can put on good matches. But the reason why I look at this as a dream match is because the Bella Twins have been the... They've always been the tag team. They've always been the tag team of the Divas slash Women's Divisions. And now you've got the Iconics, who are the new tag team of the Women's Division. They're like the new tag team. They're like the new tag team. You'd have the new tag team versus the old tag team. And and because there's been rumors of a women's tag team titles coming, which we have not heard anything about these women's tag team titles, but there's just been a big report going around that there's women's tag team titles coming. And if that's the case, these two should compete for those. Those two, those two should compete for those. There's no reason just to have a random Bellas versus Iconics match on a pay per view on a on a, on a pay per view with nothing with nothing behind it. These two should compete for the brand new tag team titles if they do make them for the women, of course. So, and I know some people will be saying, "Well, why would you want this?" And like you do realize that the Bell Twins would win. It would bury the Iconics. Yes, that is technically true, and I do understand that wholeheartedly. But, I would not mind if the Bella Twins did beat the Iconics. Only if, only if WWE actually have the Iconics look good in defeat. That is the only way I will gladly accept the Bella Twins beating the Iconics. I don't want it to be... A just like what happened with Billy Kay on Lana. Or just making them lose for the sake of just making them lose. You know, that's what I mean. As long as they give them a good match and as long as they as long as they have the those two girls, that those team those that those girls put on a good match for the crowd to enjoy and to look forward to these women's tag 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 team belts, then I would not mind it. Then I would then I would be okay. With the Iconics losing, but also I think the Iconics winning would benefit. It would benefit them in the, in this dream match. If the Iconics won, it would benefit them because it would make them look good that they beat the Bella Twins, and it would mean a lot to them. And it would mean a lot to them as well. But I but of course now but because of the uh, the brains 
because of the brains of WWE we have now, they're probably not going to do that. They're probably not going to do that. But, either way, I still see this as a dream match. No matter who wins in that result. I still see it as a dream match. No matter who wins. It, who, no matter who wins. The next dream match that I, that I could potentially see happening maybe this year. Or maybe whenever. This is a dream match that I, that I think we're going to see in WWE. And that is Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Picture this. Picture this. Seth Rollins. Well, I've been hearing rumors that Seth Rollins could be versing Brock Lesnar. I've heard rumors that Seth Rollins could be taking on Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. this. Seth Rollins slays the beast. He wins the Universal Championship. Is Seth Rollins still Intercontinental Champion? I don't know. I don't know. But but just picture just picture this. Seth Rollins wins the Universal Championship. He slays the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins holds the Universal Championship all the way up to Survivor Series. AJ Styles remains champion up to Survivor Series. And you have champion versus champion. Now, I don't see this potentially happening. I think that's the only way that you could do the Seth Rollins-AJ Styles dream match. That is... The only way I can see Seth Rollins AJ Styles dream match. I don't see WWE having AJ Styles hold the title that long. But that but that's how I would handle that's how I would that's I, I think that's how I would do the dream match. Or have Styles and Seth be on the same brand. There are two ways you can do it. I'm just thinking the Survivor Series could have been a good way. Or just have Seth and the AJ Styles end up on the same brand. Which is the second way you can do it. So that's definitely a dream match that I think we're, could, we're, that we could be seeing either this year or next year. And finally guys, the final dream match on this list. And yes, it is 10. I have counted. I did count. The AJ Lee ones were 5. The two Punk ones were 7. Yeah, the Bell Twins one, and this one. That's ten. That's ten. So I did count. And the final dream match that I think we're definitely that we definitely could be seeing is Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura. Need I say more about this one? This would be a good one for the fans, especially if Nakamura becomes WWE Champion. Imagine, ma just imagine that. Daniel Bryan and Nakamura at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. There you go. There you freaking go. A nice little a nice little dream match for the fans to enjoy and you could have The Miz or whoever wins the Money in the Bank can come on down and ruin it. You know, you can have who you can have whoever wins money in the bank come down and ruin it. So yeah. So 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 yeah. Daniel Bryan and Nakamura, the final dream match. You know what I you know you know you know what I would say. It'd be a good rivalry, it'd be good for the fans, the crowd would definitely get behind Daniel Bryan, and it would make a lot of sense because and it would make a lot of sense because this is something we would love to see in WWE. So anyway, so 
it anyways, guys. That is... That is my top 10. That is my top 10 dream matches in w that I would love to see in WWE. That is my top 10 dream matches in WWE. The AJ Lee and the CM Punk ones are just dream matches that I that I personally would have just that I personally would want to see. Those are the ones I just don't see happening at all. But the Bella Twins, Iconics, Rollins, AJ, and the the the, the last three I mentioned are ones I potentially could be seeing happening either this year. Or maybe next year. Well, I think the Bell is an iconic one. Could be this year, depending on if they've got the tag team titles ready by then. Because I've also heard rumors that the Bell Twins could be back in WWE by August. And the Seth AJ one, I could see happening this year if they keep them both champions. Up to Survivor Series. And the Brian Nakamura one I see happening, that I could see happening this year or next year. So anyway, so yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm not going to waste any more time. Be sure to hit that like button, comment your thoughts down below on every dream match that I talked about and would you like to see the same matches or let me know on what dream matches you would like to see down, down, down below. I've been Patrick Valentine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos and be sure to follow me on Twitter at pvalentine95. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.